Jesus Christ be praised. I wasn't ready to actually see it. I've got a few questions for you, Bailiff, if you don't mind. Have you been having some trouble around here? And what business is it of yours? Did someone complain? Who sent you here? No one complained, though I'd be interested to know why you think they might. It was Lord Radzik who sent me. He'd heard word that some unsavory characters are holed up around here. Begging your pardon? But what the devil does Sir Radzik care about it? And I keep hearing the same from Sir Sebastian. And he's got no dog in this fight either. Hmm. I can't do anything here. Sir Sebastian? Who's that? Sebastian Baron von Berg. He's here under monastery law to protect us against all this unrest in the land. Why should he care about the city? That's not his jurisdiction, is it? Quite true. I'm in charge of this city, but he keeps telling me I've got cutthroats hiding around here, and I should be more vigilant. The goal of the man. Hmm. I heard some recruiters are meeting in Sassau. Seemed likely they'd get up to mischief and people might complain. Do you think that people here complain and I don't do my job? Nothing of the sort. Old Lederman's the only one that comes complaining, but I pay no heed to him. And what does this Lederman complain about? Lederman is our local tanner, lives by the quarry, which is where, well, some youngsters go there to wrestle. They go there to fight and that doesn't bother you? Why would it bother me? Much better to brawl there than in the tavern. At least in the quarry they can't damage anything but each other. And my catch balls go by there from time to time to keep an eye on things. Hmm. Have you heard any talk of strangers in the town? Maybe people acting oddly? Nothing worth mentioning. Sure, there's been some talk about the miller. Folks saying they've been seeing him doing this or that, or people visiting him at night, but he's never done anything. He's a decent enough man for a miller. I'll try asking him if he's heard anything. He lives on the other side of the river, by the bogs. But don't go getting your hopes up. He might not be able to help. Fair enough. Well, we can't do anything with the other one. Thank you, baby. Take care now. All right, we've made progress already. Stress must go away. I keep hindering the people. Well, we have the tanner behind us. Let's go talk to the tanner. Maybe we can find money too. That'd be nice. I need money so I can start repairing my armor. Again. I hope I can be of help to you, Knight. Tanner, I've heard all's not well with you. It's better now. I must have eaten something bad. No, I mean you've complained about some ruffians raising hell behind your house. Aye, true enough. That lot's been a thorn in my side. And when I went to tell them to take it elsewhere, they nearly beat me to a pulp. Well, what can I find then? When are they there? Nearly every evening. Every godforsaken evening. Shouting and bellowing there till nightfall. And then they leave. Probably to get drunk. How many of them are there? How would I know? They make as much noise as a herd of wild boar in rutting season. And did they all attack you? I... They knocked the stuffing right out of me. Mm. And nobody does a thing about it? I've been to the bailiff, but he couldn't give a rat's arse. There's no commotion under his window, so what does he care? That's quite a bailiff you've got. A scarecrow would keep better order. Huh. 
If you want, I'll take care of them. Well, you look like you could move mountains, but there are several of them and just one of you. Perhaps we'll be able to settle things peacefully. Maybe. They might think twice before kicking your arse. Yeah. Perhaps I can reason with them. It doesn't have to come to blows. Well, break a leg, lad. Or better yet, don't. But if you manage to pull it off, you'll get your reward. Don't worry. May the Lord watch over you. In the evening. Okay, so that's helpful. Let's go ahead and go back to, uh... Yeah. the hammer Good day to you. What do you need? Listen, have you heard about anyone looking to recruit men around here? Or planning some kind of mischief? No. <laughs> Come on. I know how it is with Millers. I've been friends with a few and they hear all the gossip. So go ask them. I doubt their ears reach all the way here. Then it seems you're out of luck. Surely we can come to some arrangement. I don't much care for strangers. So? What do I have to do to get in your good graces, Master Miller? Well, if I heard from those Miller friends of yours that you can be relied upon, and you're not a complete dull. Oh. Is there any work here for carpenters? In this day and age, I'm glad I can support myself. I'd like you to teach me how to... Certainly. I'd like to... I mean, free. Good luck level wasn't bad, but hmm. I have to talk to other Millers. I don't like that. Like, that's 
not a good stop. What are you doing here? Nothing special. Just a little evening wrestling. It's good for your back and digestion. And your purse too, if you know your business. If I wanted to join in, what would I have to do? It's pretty simple. First you have to beat Wee. He's that not too dangerous looking fella there. But some nights, he gets a good rest and he's got God in his sight. Then you can try one of those three. Doesn't matter with all three, you can test your metal against me. Fair enough. For the last match of his youth. That's right. They say a bout with me is no joke, just bad humor. I want to fight you. What did I tell you? I want to get back. Certainly. Well, I'd like to fight. All right. Wasted, no. but still over. Alright. Stop. Be Beatrice Lanky. I'm at your sir. I heard that someone was looking. No. no. But I'm always the last to hear of anything like that. I'll ask Punch. He'd know. Let's do it. Let's go. May the Lord watch us. Then again, I don't lose this fight, and expect I just use that. Ah! Yeah. Day to you. Let's fight. That wasn't bad. Let's go. I'm gonna fight all. Can I fight all three at the same time? Let's fight. You look pretty good. We'll see. Good luck to you. I'll just beat your body with one punch. I mean, not really, but. <laughs>
hope I can be. Let's fight. That wasn't bad. Good luck to you. Oh, I'll take it up and on. I mean, you guys are getting destroyed left and right. <laughs> one of these to be one at KO. <laughs> I want to fight you. You put on quite a show. Can't say I expect it. Good luck to you. Alright, watch me just absolutely destroy this guy with like one time. I heard that someone's looking for men willing to do anything. You know anything about that? Willing to do anything? Meaning what? Something filthy like helping the Naka? I wouldn't know. Go and ask someone else. That's not what I meant, but all right. Take care now. I didn't do anything. What? That was pretty good. I didn't think you had it in you. You were really good. I've got to hand it to you. Most lads don't make it past me. So listen, I want to tell you something. What's that? There are people here looking for really tough men. And I'd say you fit the bill. So when you walk through town this evening, if there's a light in the church, go in and wait a while. If they like the looks of you, they might give you some work. Thanks. I'll think about it. May the Lord watch over you. Well, I'm in trouble too, which is not a good thing. Oh yeah, I need to talk to you about, uh... What was that? 
town or something. He says you've been causing a commotion at night, and I thought I might convince you to stop. Ha! So all his whining finally found a friendly ear, did it? Let me tell you something first, Will. I'm the bailiff's man, and we're not doing anything wrong here. Old Letterman's only been whining like that since he lost a bit of silver. Didn't bother him before that. He told me different. Ha! <laughs> of course he did. Otherwise, no one would help him. Go ahead and ask the lads. They'll tell you the same. It's God's honest truth. I'll take you at your word. But what should I do now? The way I see it, you've got two choices. Screw that old liar and leave him be or get down to business. Down to business? What do you mean, get down to business? Well, you may think you're pretty tough, and if you give us all a thrashing, we might think it over. But then again, we're no strangers to a hard fight. If I break your arm, then you won't be coming here for a while, will you? But I'm a fair fellow, so I'll make you an offer. If you enter our tournament and win, which means beating us all, then we'll go elsewhere. Wait. If you I want to fight you. Again? Just don't rough me up. Yeah, well. Wait, you let me fight him? You there, you. Stop, don't go uh, 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 Hey, you. Oh. Uh, don't go uh, Surrender. Uh, You're under arrest for breaking uh, the law. There'll be no quarter for you, you shit. I did surrender. Okay, what the heck happened? Why? Like... Caught you. Now you'll pay for all your crimes. What did I do? What? Don't pretend you don't know what's what, you whoreson. Here you are, wandering the land with a corpse on your back, getting up to all sorts of no good, and now you play dumb. It's jail for you, and I hope you rot there. I can't be of anything. Jail? Alright, let's go and get it over with quick. You'll love it there. It's all set up. Like, okay. It's ten days. 